Hi everyone, uh, I know you've been learning about shape with your teachers so I thought it'd be really nice to introduce you to this artist, Vasily Kandinsky. He's really famous for um, what we call abstract art, which is where we can't really tell what the object is meant to be. A long time ago when he first started painting, he put detail uh, into his paintings but as the more and more he became more abstract, the more the detail just turned into shapes and um, colours. He uses colour to show you emotion, like you might listen to a song that might make you feel happy or sad or maybe a bit angry or kind-hearted. Kandinsky did the same thing. He, he uses his artwork to try and show emotions and that's what we're going to try and do today. Thinking in mind about our journey through the whole time that you've been learning at home, we're going to try and put that into a picture in the style of Kandinsky remembering the shapes that you've uh, learnt at school. Okay, so we're looking at shapes too, because Kandinsky used shapes and you've been looking at shapes. So we've got this shape and this shape. Do you know what they are? They're triangles, okay? Three sides, okay? All 2D shapes, they're all flat, so they're 2D. The shape, a circle. The shape, we've got a semicircle. Some more semicircles and triangles there. A larger semicircle. And this shape here is four sided shape. We've got a square. Then we've got these two really interesting black lines. Okay. Now Kandinsky uses a lot of straight black lines in his artwork. So we're going to use these as well. Now, if I put the two lines together like that, and if I have them running like that, can you remember what they're called? Like a train line. It's never ever going to join, okay? That's called a parallel. They are parallel to each other. The lines are parallel, okay? However, if I make them join together, but I'm going to move these out of the way because I need to see why I'm doing this. If I make them join together like this, that's one there, and that's one there. That corner is so many degrees. Can you remember how many degrees? Yes, yeah, 90 degrees, okay? So because they're joining together in a 90 degrees an angle, these are called perpendicular lines, okay? I don't think we're gonna use perpendicular in this, okay? But we're definitely, definitely going to use parallel lines. He used color to depict emotion. So let's try this. If I put this black on here, how does the black make you feel? Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel sad? Does it make you think dark thoughts? How does that make you feel? Is it like the end, it's a stop, it's black, it's just stopping. Let's have a look at purple. How does purple make you feel? Some people it makes them feel happy. Some people it makes them feel a bit down. How does it make you feel? What about brown? How does brown make you feel? These are all colours that give way to emotions and Kandinsky used colour to show emotion. So green, how does green make you feel? Green makes me think of new things growing. So like rebirth. Uh, if we look at a different kind of green, this green here, we've got a light green. That straight away, I can see that makes me feel a lot happier, that one, because it's lighter. It makes me feel happy. Hmm, what about if I had the color yellow? How does that make you feel? That's a sunshine color. That might make you feel really, really happy because it's sunshine and it's yellow and yellow flowers and the bright. And then we come to a color like orange so what does orange say what does it say to you how does it make you feel there's no right or wrong with this it's what it does for you and then we've got the color red how does red make you feel does it make you feel angry which of these colors do you think makes you feel calm any of these colours make you feel calm or does something like this colour make you feel calm? 
all these different colours make us feel different ways and that's what Kandinsky used in his paintings. In his early days that's what he used in his paintings. He used colour to show emotion and that's what we're going to look at. Because we're using shape and we're using colour for our emotions, we're going to think about our journey, about the time we've had at home and about everything that's been going on, but we're going to do this and use this to make it into a Kandinsky style painting or a Kandinsky style picture. Now you can use cut up shapes like I've got, or you can paint, or you can use colouring pencils. I might put some colouring pencils in as well. This is all about emotion. This is about how you're feeling and Kandinsky uses shapes to show that. So, my shapes, I might be thinking, okay, when I was at school, before all this happened, I was sort of, uh, I was a bit, I was blue. There was a blue shape there, okay? I wasn't depressed. I was happy. I was working. I was pretty chilled. Maple class were fantastic, so loved working with them. Um, and that's how they made me feel. I knew exactly what I was doing. My life was in a box. I knew what I was doing. Then things started changing a little bit and I wasn't too sure about what was happening. I, I, I came off of school for a little bit, a little bit earlier. So my emotions get a little bit, um, how can I put it? What colour would suit those emotions? Probably, probably a bit of maybe orange. Maybe orange might suit that emotion. I'm not right sure what's happening. Uh, I've gone off and I'm missing people. I missed people. Oh, I did miss people. So. What colour can I have for if I miss somebody? I'm going to use purple because purple makes me feel a bit sad. So I missed year three. So I'm going to put that there. So I'm off and I'm missing year three. Let me get rid of my parallel lines for now. Okay? There's no right or wrong with this. This is just how you want to do it. Right, then I was at home and I was quite calm. I was calm with what was happening not full shape there for me I'm only halfway there I'm not right sure what's happening so I'm, I'm calm but I'm okay right and then everybody had to leave school and that made me think oh no that's made me really happy we need to be at school learning so it made me feel a bit unhappy so I'm going to put my red on there because it made me feel a bit happy now then the whole way through this I've been using uh, bits and bobs of art to try and help me so this helps me work my way through all this so I've used art that's my line show me that I'm on a path I'm getting there and maybe I'm going to turn it because this is where I started okay that's where I started and this is where I'm going okay that's my journey my black lines are saying I'm on a journey and I used my art to help me get through that journey now when I was doing my art, it made me feel very comfortable, so I'm going to use a green triangle. And then it made me feel very calm, so I'm going to use a, another semicircle. And then I keep remembering you lot and missing you, and that makes me feel a little bit annoyed because I, I can't get to see you guys. So I'm putting that there, that's making me feel a little bit, ooh, I'm not so sure about that, I need to see them, I've missed them loads. But now, I'm back in school a little bit and I'm seeing some of the children and that makes me feel nice and calm. I'm still on part of my journey though, there look, I'm still on part of my journey. And I'm hoping this big black circle for me is going to be a full stop to it all. Okay, and I'm going to put that right in the middle because that's important to me. This is me using Kandinsky to show my feelings and that's what Kandinsky used when he used shapes, he used parallel lines, he used triangles, he used squares, he used semicircles, he used all sorts, you can use whatever shape you want, you can use stars, you can use diamond shapes, okay, it's entirely up to you. I'll see you in a little bit and let's see what you come up with, it'll be really good to see.
Don't forget to send your work into your class teacher. Really lovely to see. Enjoy.